Hello guys, today I want to present another new course I've released on my Laravel Daily Com. This is the course number four in 2023 already, although it's the beginning of February. What helps me is it's text-based courses, so it's easier for me to create and also it's easier for you to consume. Reading your comments on those courses, I can confirm that. So the new course is about Livewire. Livewire is still very popular, especially among those developers who are like me, backenders historically and don't like to deal with JavaScript. So for dynamic elements, Livewire replaces JavaScript almost fully. So for those of you who haven't tried really practical projects with Livewire, this could be a course that would help you. So in this project, in this course, we will create order management system step by step. Here are a few screenshots, like creating products, including external features like Siki Editor, Select2, then there's also Suite Alert, Chart.js, and also tables with filters, sorting, model windows, inline editing, also not in screenshots, registration form customization with password generator and showing or hiding password or showing the strength of the password. So this is actually what Livewire is for me personally, a tool for small dynamic elements, dynamic behavior without any JavaScript. And in this video, let's quickly run through a few first lessons. As I do that often on my YouTube channel, I release some of the course for free. So let's jump into the beginning of this course, which is just preparing Laravel project nothing serious, Laravel new project and require Laravel Breeze because we will use the design of Laravel Breeze and then we install Livewire. Livewire is installed by Composer Require and then you need to have two directives in your main layout, which is in case of Breeze is layout app blade PHP. So Livewire styles and Livewire scripts. From what I've heard about the new upcoming Livewire 3 sometime in 2023, hopefully. Those will be not necessary, but we'll see about that. Okay, so this is the first lesson, just the preparation. Now, in the next lesson, we make this. So with password, we show password strength, we show password show and hide and generate the password. For that, we will use not only Livewire, but also I call it like small step brother of Livewire, which is Alpine.js. It's another library to replace JavaScript, but for smaller scope of tasks. And let me show you that in action. So we create Livewire component. So this part in Laravel Breeze, it's password two fields, password and confirm password. And we replace all of that part with Livewire component. So we generate that component, PHP Artisan make live wire, let's call it register passwords. And we have register passwords blade. This is the blade of live wire component. For now, nothing really dynamic It's just copy and paste from breeze with blade components. And then we load that into the register blade instead of that block of code. Now, show hide password with Alpine.js. This is exactly what I meant without live wire. If you are not familiar with Alpine.js at all, I have introduction video, seven minutes free on YouTube. I will link that in the description below as well. So instead of having that X text input, we replace that with the source of that text input from Laravel Breeze Blade component and add some Alpine, which is X data show true. And by the way, if you want to get deeper into Alpine, I have a special course, not seven minutes and not free, but on my laraveldaily.com, I have a full course on Alpine.js with more practical examples. Anyway, we define X data with variables and our variable is show true. So show or hide the password. And this is how we define that show and hide. So show is our variable. If it's true, then the type of that input is password. Otherwise it is text. So that's how we show or hide the password. And then we have an icon to show and hide and that icon will be processed with this click show equals not show and also class hidden and block show. So that's all you need to write with Alpine.js to show or hide some component. Okay, I see this image not shown. I will fix that after shooting this video. Now let's look at another feature and we will use Livewire here, generate random password. First, we need to get to guest blade and add Livewire there as well. In the previous lesson, we added Livewire to the main layout inside of the logged in user. We need that for the guest as well. And then in our register passwords, which we generated earlier, we define two variables, two properties of Livewire component, password and password confirmation. 
And then in the register password blade, we add wire model password and also wire model password confirmation, which means we can change those variables and the inputs would be automatically updated. And this is exactly what we will do. We'll have generate button, which we'll call wire click generate password. And that generate password would be a function inside of live wire component, which is this. So there's an algorithm to randomize the password, but at the end, there's a set passwords method, or you can do that inline, which just sets the value of those two properties, which would in turn automatically update the passwords like this. Finally, in this lesson, show password strength. There's a special package, PHP package to calculate the strength. So we will use that package like this. So new package with very strange name. And there's a function called password strength of the value. And that value will come as a parameter of updated something. Updated field is a live wire logic to automatically call that function whenever that field is updated. So we don't change anything in the blade at all. But if we type in the password, type in any letter, then this would be called automatically. Then we save that value into strength score. And then we show that score formatted somehow in the blade. Also, we need to manually call that updated password when we actually set those passwords from the live wire. And now how we show that score, for example, one of the ways is to assign some kind of array values to each of the score, which in this case of that package is one, two, three, four. And then you can just show it as a text, for example, like this, or visually, more visually, you can add a progress HTML tag with value of percentage of whether it's strong or weak. And this is how it looks for a strong password. So yeah, just a few lessons with Livewire and Alpine and a few packages along the way. And next in the course, we dive into the logged in version of the application. I will click but will not read further. So next lesson is about managing the categories of the products. So there will be categories, then products, and then orders of those products. So there will be a table with drag and drop, with active and active toggle, with add category in model window, and so on. So if you want to dive into that, purchase the membership of Laravel Daily Com, which will give you access to all that course, including the final repository of that course on GitHub, and also many more courses. I think it's around 30 courses at the moment. So you can browse around those. Also premium tutorials, which I publish new tutorials almost every week, and a lot more things to come. So join me on this journey of premium membership because I will release more courses in February. I have a lot of things to release already in progress or in final stages and keep watching this YouTube channel as well. I will still publish videos daily for free on YouTube. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.